Number four Idaho Vandals took a trip up to Cheney to take on number 19 Eastern Washington. Crime 2 Sports Director Travis Green is at Roos Field with highlights from an absolute shootout of a game. Hey there, Travis. Well, hello from Roos Field, where we just got done seeing an absolute shootout. The Idaho Vandals and Eastern Washington Eagles, they put on a show today. They sure did, and a top 20 matchup here. A lot of playoff implications possibly down the road here in the FCS, and boy, we had a good one out here today. Yeah, we sure did. As Andrew just mentioned, the Eagles fresh off of cracking the top 25, looking to prove they belong. The Vandals looking for their first ever win here in Cheney on the red. The number four team in the country, the favorite heading into the this one. But breaking news we got just before the game today. Eastern starting quarterback Keikoa Vesperis was not suited up for this game. So in is junior Jared Taylor and the offense didn't miss a beat. Eags tying things up here in the first with the double pass. Taylor to Michael Wortham to Anthony Stell Jr. That tied the game up at seven. Fast forward to under two minutes to go in the first half. This time it's Wortham running. He shakes off about the entire <laughs> Vandal defense on his way to the promised land. He had 54 yards on the ground in this one. This made it 21-14 Eags. But the Vandals had an answer all day long, Andrew, and that answer's name was Anthony Woods. Here is second touchdown of the first half. Ties things up at 21s as they headed into the locker room. Eastern would open the second half with a touchdown, but the Vandals respond, and like we just said all day, it was number Anthony five. Wood. Stiff arm to shake off the defender for the score, and check out the smile he had right there. Plenty of reason to be cheesing. Woods had 183 yards on the ground today. Goodness gracious. But eventually, one of these teams needed to get a defensive stop, which the Vandals would get. They'd force a turnover on downs and then a punt scoring nine points after. The dagger here in the middle of the fourth. Who else could it be, and Travis? Anthony Woods. Anthony <laughs> Woods. He almost had to use his second hand to count touchdowns today. His fifth of the day, 60 yards to put the game out of reach for the Eags. The Vandals as a whole run for 363 yards and a 44-36 win here at Roos Field. And as you can tell there from the highlights, the story of today really was Anthony Wood. There's no doubt about it. I mean, five touchdowns on the ground. Oh, he only needed two more to get the record in FCS. <laughs> An absolutely outstanding day from Woods. And, you know, Eastern Washington had trouble stopping the run all year, and it reared its ugly head again today. Yeah, here's what Woods had to say on the big day, and Coach Eck on his running back. I mean, I'd say if you're regular, I mean, I'm used to having the, I'm used to getting the ball in my hand a lot, so, I mean, I'd say, it's regular. I mean, I just try to make plays every chance I get. I'm uh, very proud of our running game. Uh, really ran the ball well. Anthony Woods, uh, you know, that's, that's a fine, fine of a game as you'll have to see a college football player have. And as we mentioned today, Eastern without the services yeah. of their starting quarterback, but Jared Taylor stepped in and did a phenomenal job he today. He really did. The Juco junior transfer quarterback, he had 130 yards on the ground and two touchdowns. Big day for him. Any kid waits for their opportunity to go play at this level, so I've wanted it for a long time. You know, I went JUCO, and this is always my dream to be here, and I got my chance today, so I just try to make the most of it. But for a guy that, you know, I hadn't played a lot of seven football here at Eastern in, in uh, five weeks and stepped into it, looked comfortable um, against a really good defense, one of the top defenses in the big sky. Um, and so, you know, on paper he's a backup, but uh, today was a starter and played like it. And with today's final, the Vandals improve to 4-1 and one on the season, and Eastern Washington falls to 2-3. and three. That's right, and the Eagles will have their bye week next week while the Vandals are back on the road. They head down to Cal Poly on Saturday. And possible we see the Vandals rise in the rankings. Eastern Washington hoping we still see them in the top 25. Yeah, to put up 36 points today, I think they've got a good yeah, chance. they deserve it. Hey, that's going to wrap it up for us here at Roos Field. I'm Travis Green. He's Andrew Quinn.